Hi guys. Bonjour. This is French lesson number two. two. Greetings in French. First thing I need to tell you is that there are actually two fa two forms of language in French. We have like the non-formal that you can apply with your family and friends, and we have the formal that you use with your boss, someone you don't know, like someone older or higher than you in hierarchy. So informal for hello, we can say, you can actually apply bonjour, the one you already know. You can also apply salut. 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 So we don't pronounce the T. You do not pronounce the T. Salut. In French, 99% of the time, the last letter doesn't count. Like it's here for grammar purposes, but you do not pronounce it. Bonjour. Bonjour. Salut. Salut. Okay, so this is for hello. Okay. And for the formal, uh, that's easy also. Huh? That's bonjour. No salut. Not, not salut. Not applicable. Not salut. And how would you say to say goodbye in informal? We also say salut. Do not pronounce the T. And if you leave someone that you don't know, or if you want to leave in formal way, this one is a little bit harder. Au revoir. It's, remember the E, it's not revoir, guys. It's... Revoir. revoir. Au revoir. Au revoir, which literally means till I see you again. Mm -hmm. Okay. But can we use also au revoir in informal? You can say that way, oui, oui, applicable. If you want to be like polite and when you leave someone in the evening only applicable in the evening why well, it can be sometimes also applicable for hello section hello but for nighttime yeah another form of bonjour which is bonsoir Good evening. This one is bonsoir, good evening, when you see someone. And this one, when you leave someone. Have huh? a good evening. Have a good evening. Bonsoir. Bonsoir. And bonne soirée also if you want to be super polite. It's the same. Bonne soirée. Bye bye. Bonne soirée. We actually use also bye bye. Like it's not bye bye, it's bye bye. Bye bye. Or salut. You don't say bonjour in the night. No. Not applicable. Only even if you're... even if you mean to say hello. Yeah, you can say you say bonsoir if you want to say hello, but in the evening. Both applicable for informal or formal. You can greet someone with good night. Bonne nuit. Bonne nuit. Bonne nuit. And once again, bon you do not pronounce the T. Not bonne nuit, it's bonne non nuit. Bonne nuit. No, 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 no. Bonne nuit. Bonne nuit. You have to go fast, like bonne nuit. Bonne nuit. Bonne nuit. See, Can you, you explain why sometimes the spelling is N-N-E and it's mm. B-O-N? B-O-N is applicable for the masculine. B-O-N-N-E is applicable for feminine. And actually night... It's feminine. So that's why we use the good night, the good for feminine like that. And the jour is, is masculine, so that's why it's B-O-N. <clears throat> yeah. And how would you say, see you soon? I know, I know. Go for it. A bientôt. Yes. A bientôt. A bientôt. There's a small accent here. I'm going to actually do it like this. It's not very clean, but that's okay. A bientôt. And once again, the T, you do not pronounce it. So it means see you soon. A bientôt. Bye bye. See you soon. A bientôt. And on the phone, uh, like uh, French people will say allo. The first introduction when you pick up the when phone. When you say hello, it's not, it's no, not bonjour. It's, it's allo like this. Allo.
means hello, but it's for the telephone. Yeah, it's for the telephone, only applicable for the telephone. Hello. So, bonne nuit. Bonne nuit, also hello. for formal. And à bientôt. Okay. Okay? The please for form for informal. Mm. I'm gonna write, I'm gonna take the board because it's not easy to write. It's seal to play. Seal <clears throat> to play, and for formal, it's s'il vous plaît. S'il te plaît. S'il te plaît. S'il vous plaît. S'il vous plaît. The difference is this and this. Yeah. And how do you say thank you? Merci. Yeah, it's very easy. Merci. Yeah, the students were always asking me, sir, how do we know if we're in informal or, or formal? That's very easy. If you don't know the person, formal. If you know her, if you're from, friends, if you're friends, etc. Like if you, you can go for informal, but generally, like the rule is, you don't know the person, you never spoke to her. Treat him formally. Yeah, you you need respect in your conversation, so you go for formal. Is there a formal for thank you? There is, but pff, wow, you don't really need it. I'm gonna it's show the you. same, no? Even if you can say like thank you for formal and informal. That's both the same but if you really want to specific if you really want to be super polite je vous re, re. je vous remercie i, I thank, thank you. you je vous remercie yes. je vous remercie why not je vous remercie because this is not a verb and I, that's the action oh, of there's me. an e at the end yeah i mean Je vous remercie. Je vous remercie. Okay? Okay. Um, when they say... Welcome. Ah, yeah. You're welcome. You're welcome. Thank you, you're welcome. Yeah. Is there also a formal informal? Yes, there is. <laughs> it took me like a... Yes, there is. You're welcome for informal is... De rien. De rien. You don't pronounce the N, so de rien. De rien. Ah, the formal is actually quite interesting. But it's complicated, so you don't, you don't, really, you don't really need it. This one also goes there. Huh? It's applicable yeah. for formal. Je vous en prie. Ah, je vous en prie. Je vous, je vous en prie. Ouais, je vous en prie. Je vous en prie. Okay? Okay. Short version, short lesson for today. There is more. Which one? Ah, oh, when you say, Kanang, how are you? Ah, that's not anymore in the... Because yeah. you, you, you always say that when you're in France, it's like common. Bonjour, comment ça va? Ça va? Ouais. It's very common. Yeah. It's like, it never happens that you don't ask anyone yes, how they are. Right. Or actually, we can say right away, instead of saying yeah. hello, we just say like, how are you? Like it's always like that there, guys. You know? uh, they always ask how you are. But my husband is not asking me how I am every morning. But in France, they always ask, Saba? Because I... Because... <laughs> sige, sige, teach them. The Saba, Saba. <laughs> because we wanted to say a new one. Forget about it. <laughs> sige na, Saba. Formal and informal. S how are you? We write it like this. Ça va? Ça va? It's really like that? The like, wait, yeah. wait, it's like almost letter S there. Can you write it again? It's almost not No, like it's really like that. Man, there's an explanation. But it's smaller than the C should be, I think. Oh, yeah, okay. It's, the, it's, the, it's a C, guys, but there's like a, an S at the bottom of it. Ça va? Ça va? And the formal form of this one is. Comment ça va? No. No? Not applicable. Mm. Ah, comment allez-vous? Comment allez-vous? 
How are you doing? Comment allez-vous? Non. Say it. Comment, comment allez-vous? Comment allez-vous? Ouais. Comment allez-vous? And then the person is going to answer. She can actually answer this one. Ça va. But if, re, if she really wants to go along with your... Je, je vais bien. Je vais bien. I'm okay. I'm good. Je vais bien. Comment so, allez-vous? This is comment allez-vous, guys. Uh, this is T-A. You have to pronounce it all mm. together. But he will have a separate lesson for that. Je vais bien. Je vais bien. So, ça va? Ça va? Ça va. Ça va. I'm fine. Ouais. I'm fine. And like... In in this one, we're actually a little bit Filipinos because you can actually gauge, you can actually know if someone is not okay depending on the tone okay, of that answer. Like, do it to me. I'm gonna do like the first one where I'm good, I'm really good, and on the second one, I'm really not good. Ça va? Ça va. Okay, that, yeah, I'm good. Ça va? Ouais, ça va. <laughs> yeah, right away. So oh, guys, what's wrong? Even even if they're not good, they say they're good. Pretentious people. Okay. Okay. Donc à bientôt pour la leçon numéro 3. See you soon for lesson three. À bientôt. À bientôt. Bye bye.